Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain why 5G reduces battery life. And I think we should start by going all the way back in time to last year mm. when Apple released the A13 Bionic chip. So a system on a chip design, which is what all of the A processors are, is more than just a CPU. It's a CPU, it's a neural engine for machine learning, it's a GPU graphics processing unit, an image processor, it does a lot of things on this one chip. By having all of these different functions on one chip, system on a chip design creates less power consumption, therefore lower or longer battery life. So the A13 Bionic was actually 30% more efficient than the A12 Bionic was, mm -hmm. although it was a lot more powerful because every year they're able to basically cram more stuff onto the system on a chip. So you would think that the A14 Bionic would have a system on a chip design that includes a 5G modem. Well, it doesn't. There really is no widely used system on a chip design at this point that has 5G capabilities built in. So the A14 Bionic did not lose any capabilities of the A13 Bionic in terms of its modem or 4G LTE connectivity or other cellular connectivity, but they had to add another chip to the phone and that chip takes power, a lot of power. Mm -hmm. And that's why 5G uses more battery than 4G. Yeah, Apple did build in that uh, smart data user. Data mode. Data mode, smart yep. data mode yep. onto the yep. iPhone 12 to kind of, you know, only use 5G when it's absolutely necessary. You know, it's funny because I screw up that name a lot too. And I think it's one of their least creative word, like titles yeah. for any of their features ever. Smart data mode. They could have done better than that. They were like, hey, George, what do you want to call this one? Smart data mode. Smart data mode. Okay, we'll go with that. Also, we should just point out too that 5G isn't widely available yet. So, you know, if it's a low band 5G you're trying to connect to, I mean, it's probably not worth it to risk the battery life. Just use the That's 4G LTE. True. Yeah, and we're going to have to make a video about that mm -hmm. because that is totally true. Yeah. Uh, just if we can turn off the 5G antennas, that's going to be awesome. And we'll show you how to do that in one of our other videos mm -hmm. about how to optimize your iPhone for 5G. It's good. I'm idea. getting my new iPhone tomorrow. All right, well, there we go. We'll start that is a that good one. idea. It's a great idea. So it's actually a Snapdragon X60 5G modem that's in the iPhone 12. That's what takes up all this extra power. And then the smart data mode, as David said, turns that chip on and off as needed. But I mean, really, I, I, there's really no reason to be using 5G all the time or any of the time. Yeah. Except for these rare. There's this commercial I saw. She's like outside or, or inside, actually, somebody. And she says, I just downloaded a whole movie in 30 seconds. What? And it's like, yeah. I mean, if you're going on vacation and you forgot to plan ahead a little bit. and You're, you're going on vacation to a 5G spot. Yep. You forgot to plan ahead. And you don't have Wi-Fi there? Well, I'm saying like, you know, on the plane yeah. ride over, you know, you off the right. download. Yeah. Oops, I just ran through my whole data plan in yeah. four minutes. What? Yeah, we're not super stoked on 5G. Check out our other video, is 5G worth it? We'll link to that in a card above and the description section below. That is why 5G causes your battery to drain faster. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions or if you want to disagree with us about the, uh, the usefulness of 5G. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones and plans.